a question that we get pretty frequently is from dog lovers who are dealing with a dog that has cancer and then they're very conscious about the diet and they're conscious about, well, should I feed anything that could be potentially carcinogenic? And others are thinking, well, the dog already has cancer, so I don't need to worry about it too much. Dr. Dressler, what are your thoughts? My opinion is it's unwise to uh, expose dogs that have cancer to further carcinogens. Uh, the reason is because in test tubes and petri dishes, it's been shown that cancer cell DNA is unstable. And what this means is that cancers can change over time. And when we're trying to treat a cancer, if the cancer shifts and changes to a more resistant type of cancer, able to withstand the treatment, uh, then we lose ground. Carcinogens cause changes in DNA that make the DNA change further. And my opinion is, can if we expose pets to further carcinogens, can increase the mutation rate of the cancers and potentially favor more resistant forms of cancer developing. Dr. Ettinger, any thoughts about uh, the subject? No, I think Dr. Dressler makes great points, but one thing I, I see some owners stress out is when their pets are a little picky, sometimes associated with treatment or just along the course of of their, their pet's cancer, they get really stressed if they won't eat a certain diet. And I think there are certain times where it's okay if the pet wants to eat maybe not the best diet or wants to eat, you know, a prepared food that um, the owner preferred they wouldn't eat because some days they, you just, it's more important for them to get some calories in. So, you know, you have to balance it as you go along with their treatment. And Dr. Dressler, I'd imagine you agree with that because in your book, you talk about treat days. You're 100% correct. We have to be reasonable and we have to be compassionate and we have to be balanced. And to adhere to a clinical guideline, if it's impractical or if it makes life quality disappear, there's no point to it. The whole intention of what we're trying to do in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide and by making these videos and doing the entire thing with these interviews is to not only improve life quantity, which is lifespan, but also life quality, which is a good life, because there's no point in having a longer life if it can also be a good life. Makes perfect sense. Dr. Dressler in Hawaii, Dr. Ettinger in New York, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.